grows at the premiere of History of a Memory. And I see in your Instagram bio that you do have I shoot unicorns only when I feel like it. Yeah. So do you feel like this movie was about unicorns or like? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it, it's not my film, but uh, yeah, in a way that every everybody in this film is a unicorn. They have unique stories, and they, I mean. Their stories were powerful enough to create this documentary about it. So, yeah, they're unicorns. <laughs> so, what made you want to get involved with Tribeca Film Festival and kind of, you know, come back to the roots? Because it's kind of like, you know, an independent film. You're kind of more mainstream. So, what made you want to do that? Uh, so, I've been trying to get to Tribeca for years. I mean, it's always a, a film festival that I've been intrigued by. And, uh, you know, when HP called me, I, I had to jump at this. So, I'm excited about it. And you just celebrated Easter with the kids and the family. How did your kids enjoy Easter? Well, they loved it. I don't think my, my son knew what was going on. I mean, he saw the big bunny when he took the picture of the bunny. But outside of that, I mean, he's nine months. But my daughter, she loves the holidays. And I mean, it's kind of like reliving your childhood when, you're, when, you're, when your kids are excited right. about something. So it was, good. it was good. And who won Easter egg hunt? Who won it? Oh, my daughter. <laughs> And it, it's, it's funny because she shakes the egg, you know the eggs that yeah. you open and you get candy or it might be money in it. She shake, she was shaking all the eggs, so if it was too light, she which was like, it was probably money, she would drop back down and get the ones with candy. So yeah, she, she collected a lot of eggs and had a lot of candy. Yeah. That's dope. One more thing, um, there's a lot of new black young actors coming into the game. What can you say for them? Uh, man, it, they, they make me proud. I mean, uh, we're needed. Our friend, it's power in numbers, you know. So I would just say, continue to work hard, grind it out, and and you'll make it to where you want to be. So thank you so much for speaking about your voice magazine.